What's up fellas and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you 7 new powerful shortcuts I started using on my iPhone. As always, without further ado, let's get started. Recently I made 7 new shortcuts. Ask ChatGPT 4.0, Stress Level, White Point, Decision Maker Tool AI, the Shutdown Button, Rock, Paper, Scissors Game, and Counter-Strike Bomb Diffuser game. As always, the download link will be in the description of this video, so if you want to download and use them for free, enjoy. So let's start with the first shortcut, Ask ChatGPT 4.0. This shortcut is kind of handy because it automatically launches the ChatGPT 4. So let's ask something like, how to become the richest man on the planet step-by-step -step guide. Basically, this is a much quicker way to get ChatGPT4. You can actually assign this shortcut to your action button if you have the iPhone 15 Pro series, or you can even add it as a home screen icon and launch it like a regular app without a need to open a ChatGPT app. And by the way, I will show you the structure of the shortcut. So, becoming the richest person on the planet is an extremely ambitious goal. La, la, la develop a vision and mindset, identify a lucrative market, acquire necessary skills, innovate, build a strong network. Okay. So it's nice. Ask ChatGPT 4.0. Let's study the structure. The structure is super easy. Ask ChatGPT with a text using ChatGPT 4.0 and show the result. What's cool about Shortcuts app is that you can use your Apple Watch to run this shortcut and quickly ask some questions on the go. Let's test it. How to become the most successful YouTuber? YouTuber. Okay, let's go. Let's see if ChatGPT 4.0 shortcut works on my Apple Watch. It should work. It should work. And actually, it's really cool to have this ChatGPT 4.0 right on your wrist because sometimes when you don't have your iPhone nearby, okay, it works, great. You can just use your Apple Watch to get some answers. It's, it's really cool, I love it, I love it. Guys, before showing you the second shortcut, let's take some time for our today's sponsor, Moft. I recently received some cool accessories for my iPhone and MacBook, like for example, their new vegan leather snap case for iPhone 15 Pro Max or the invisible MagSafe tripod stand. First of all, the unboxing experience is very cool. The build quality is absolutely incredible. Moft uses a proper vegan leather material that imitates the real feel and texture of leather. I have a lot of leather objects, so I know how it should feel, and trust me, their vegan leather feels like a real deal. This leather case has probably the strongest magnets i ever seen in my life, and when paired with this invisible tripod stand, it makes a perfect combo. At the beginning, I was a little bit skeptical about using this tripod stand, but finally, I found it very useful. It's so convenient for watching YouTube videos, for example. You can use this MagSafe tripod stand to film videos, make a video conference, or even listen to music. It's absolutely incredible. When you no longer need it, just close it and snap to the back of your iPhone. Honestly, Moft products are very high quality, and I would even qualify them as premium. By the way, the pricing is very attractive. Guys, if you're interested in purchasing one of the Moft products, I will leave a link in the description of this video. Now, let's go back to our video. Guys, shortcuts number two is called stress level. So how does it work? Let's run it. It says, your stress level is correct. HRV 50. So this shortcut uses, of course, you have to own the Apple Watch to be able to use the shortcut. Let's see the structure. Let's see the structure of the shortcut. So it collects your heart rate variability data from the last day. And then accordingly to your HRV level, it shows you a notification. So if your HRV is in between 25 and 45, 
it will show you the notification saying that your stress level is moderate and your HRV level. If your stress level is below 25, it will show you that your stress level is high. If your stress stress level, if your HRV level is in between 45 and 75, it will show you the notification telling that your HRV is correct. So your stress level is correct. And if your HRV level is below 75, it means your stress level is really low, which is great for people who are exercising or doing some kind of sports activities. And this shortcut also works on my Apple Watch. So you don't have to use your iPhone to measure your stress level. I know that there are some third-party apps that can kind of measure your fitness readiness level, like this one or this one, but they are paid. So if you don't want to pay for this kind of apps, you can just use my shortcut. And anyway, these apps are using HRV reading from your Apple Watch, so it's, it's the same thing, but it's free. Enjoy. Okay, let's continue with this one, white point. So as you can see right now, I'm using the dark mode on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm using dark mode in dark conditions, but it can get even darker if you will reduce the white point of your screen. So let's run it on. You see, it becomes slightly darker. So it's better if you want to, if you want to kind of browse on the web at night, your screen becomes even darker. If you want to disable this feature, just turn it off and it became a little bit, a little bit brighter. So it just reduces the white point. Let's say it's dark mode plus, dark mode plus. Let's continue with this shortcut, Decision Maker Tool AI. Now this is a very funny shortcut I made some time ago. Sometimes when you have to make a difficult decision, for example, should you eat a pizza or hamburger or should you do something and you don't really know whether you have to do that or not, you can use the shortcut. Let's make a demo. Hello, I'm Samantha, your personal virtual AI assistant. I'm here to help you make a right decision. Yes or no? Please write down your request and I will give you the answer. Although still use your human brain before acting on that decision. Good luck. Okay, let's write my request. Should I order a pizza right now? Okay, let's run some numbers about your request. Should I order a pizza right now? I studied your request, should I order a pizza right now? And the answer is no. Of course, it just Thanks for using decision maker tool AI. Until next time, bye bye and good luck. Of course, it's just a joke. There is no AI features in the shortcut. Let's see the structure of this one. So, it has a text that Siri speaks every time telling you that if this is kind of important decision, don't rely on this shortcut because this is just a joke. It uses a random it looks for a random number between 1 and 1 million and then based on some random numbers it says you, it tells you yes or no and then it offers you to spin the wheel if you are still not sure about your decision. So it's kind of funny, you know, sometimes you don't really know how to act in your life, should you do this or that and then just, just, just use the shortcut and, and take and make your decision in a funny way. And by the way, the Decision Maker Tool AI shortcut also works on an Apple Watch. Hello, I'm Samantha, your personal...
personal virtual AI assistant. Okay, next shortcut is called shutdown. This is a shutdown button. Let's run it. Are you sure you want to shut down your iPhone? Just press this button and your iPhone will shut down. Uh, that's much easier than to press the home button, the volume up button, slide to power off. You can just use the shortcut. You can add it to your home screen. Just click on share. You can simply add this shortcut to your home screen. Just You can move it here and just press it, shut down, and it will instantly shut down your iPhone. Pretty handy shortcut. I love it. Okay, two more shortcuts. Rock, paper, scissors game. For example, let's take scissors. Your choice is scissors. The choice of the bot is rock, the bot won. Paper. Your choice, paper, the choice of the bot is rock, you won. Now, what's cool, you can also play this game on your Apple Watch, so if you will install this shortcut, you will have it on your Apple Watch as well. Let's try it, rock, your choice is rock, the choice of the bot is paper, the bot won. Kind of cool, I like it. So, and the last shortcut I'm proud of is called Counter-Strike Bomb Diffuser Game. Let's launch it. Oh my god, have fun. Choose playing mode, against human or against AI. Let's play against human. Enter your name, Arthur. John, player two name. Don't cheat, Arthur will plant the bomb. John, be sure to look away. So I have to plant the bomb. You must plant the bomb between A and B. Make sure John doesn't find out. So don't show your iPhone to your friend. Now I'm gonna plant the bomb. Let's plant it here, A. The bomb has been planted. Your bomb has been planted. You planted the bomb at A. Switch. Give the phone to your friend. The friend has to defuse the bomb, so he has two choices. John, where did Arthur hide the bomb? Let's say B. Oh my god, what a crazy game, what a crazy game, guys. Let's review the structure of the shortcut, just to show you how it works. So it uses Base64 code language to play sounds, it has some, you know, it has some special structures, so if you want to study this shortcut and even improve it, Please download this shortcut and have fun with your friends. Guys, that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed some of my shortcuts. By the way, I have a lot of them, so if you want to check all of them, I made a separate video on that topic. Thanks again for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech-oriented content. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye.